children discriminated against and teachers harassed. Only our Team 10 investigator Adam Rakuzin is looking into the new allegations that have put a San Diego school under investigation. With the school year winding down, activities on the playground at Ifton Charter School are quiet. But behind the scenes, an investigation into a series of complaints and allegations. Team 10 obtained this memo describing the most recent as very concerning. Today our school is in jeopardy. It's close, it's very close to be close to this door. No more Iftin Charter School, maybe next year, because of the problem. Mahamud Yusuf is the president of the parents. He has two kids who go to school at Iftin. I feel this school is different according to the way we feel it is safe and uh, the environment in the school was before, but today, but not anymore. Not anymore. Yusuf believes the school has lost its students' first focus. He claims some members of Ifton's school board are to blame. The fear we have is we cannot work with this board in the power now they have, and the parents have no right. According to an update memo given to the Board of Education, the allegations raise concerns related to harassment of staff and students, discrimination in enrollment of students based on race and disability, and improper hiring practices. In March, 10 News was the only station there as dozens of parents and community members brought their concerns to light, protesting at the school district's Office of Charter Schools. Yusuf says he's thankful the Office of Charter Schools is involved and investigating, but believes there's only one way to solve the problems. What we like is if this board to resign. And in a statement to Team 10, the school's lawyer wrote in part, they're cooperating fully with the district's investigation, which they hope will lay the allegations to rest. Should there be any findings from the district's investigation, Ifton's leadership will promptly move to address any areas of concern. Ifton remains confident that the school will emerge strengthened and reinvigorated from this process. Adam Arkusen, Team 10.